Selecting soft edged objects. We're talking about a very complex thing now, as soft edge objects go. You know, hard edge objects, you can move them around in various different methods. I, I didn't cover one, I'll cover it later, and it's called paths. Um, paths are a whole different animal altogether, and I don't want to get into them just yet. But this soft edge object, if I go to, let's say, paint a selection, it would be hard. I would have to paint it with a soft brush. You know, if I take this paintbrush, take a paintbrush, go in here and try to paint like this, go back into it and go select inverse, I can now move around this object and it has a soft outer glow. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is take your magic wand tool and turn the tolerancy up, uh, let's say 220 or something like that. And I'm going to click by deselecting first. And deselecting is Command D or Control D on a keyboard, incidentally. Uh, Command D if you're on a Mac, Control D if you're on a PC. So now that I deselected it and I have the tolerancy level set to 220, I can highlight this and I get this very large drop off. Well, if I go in here to select modify feather and feather it by let's say 20 pixels and now move this I can get the whole drop off value and you can see I still have that variance if I go over another object it still has that variance okay and depending upon how far I in I feather I get less and less of this okay so that's a two ways to select a soft edge object. The other ones are just using variances of that same method. You know, let's say I have this this ball and I, I go like this and I go select modify feather 20 pixels and I hit the move tool I can now move that around. So that's another way to do it and this is somewhat more accurate sometimes. So all three work all are right answers uh, leaving you with the problem is which one do you use because they're all right and that's what you're gonna have to answer for yourself is which one do I use alright so let's move on to the next video